Booga booga. There we go. We got some auto auto focus here. Hello everybody. My name is Mason Woman Seven, reporting for duty, and welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome back, and welcome to any new viewers who are checking out the channel for the first time. This is going to be my channel trailer. Um, a lot of this stuff's going to be off the cuff, off the top of my head. But hopefully you guys can find something that's good and fun here. If you enjoy some shenanigans, some goofiness, some nerdiness, uh, if you like gameplay involving fantasy, medieval, modern shooters, uh, competitive, uh, non-competitive, story-driven, I play a bunch of different games and I plan on doing a bunch of different Let's Plays on the channel as well. And I also stream live over on Twitch. You guys can check and find all the links down in the description below. To everything that I'm about to mention. But yeah, if goofy shenanigans and clutch plays and so on and so forth is your kind of thing, then I highly recommend you stick around. Also, we're going to have some higher production stuff coming out in the future of this year. We've got a D&D &D show that I've been working on um, that's going to be live streamed that audience can interact with and some audience, audience members can even play in. We're going to have, hopefully, later in the year, we'll have a Warhammer thing. We'll probably do like a we can get some funding for it we might do some like miniature painting um, we might do a recording of our actual my actual home game um, if you guys want to see like pictures and photos and uh, just captures of the different battle mats that I put out in the terrain you guys can go over to the discord or check the Instagram um, you guys can look at the photos and art section in there and you guys will see plenty of cool stuff. So yeah, we've got stuff for you to hang around and stick around for. Um, I highly recommend you guys subscribe so you guys get recommended my content. Um, and obviously I love seeing comments. I love talking to people and I love seeing you guys over in the chat on the live stream. So please, by all means, feel free to hang out. Um, the rest of this video is going to break down my plan for the new year. I know I'm a bit late on the new year's resolution. I'm almost a month into this. Um, but I, I, I've recorded it twice. I've recorded this video twice and I have pre-recorded gameplay that I was going to put into this and all this other stuff. And it just became like kind of an extra long jumbled mess of shit. Um, so I wanted to re-record it and, uh, and at least see if I could cohesively get the ideas out to you guys. So, without any further ado, I'm going to go over my New Year's resolution. Without my notes, because fuck me, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, whatever, we don't need any, any stinking notes. Um, okay, so the New Year's resolution. Um, I want to make content. The goal is I would love to make content as a job. Be really cool. Unfortunately, there's a few things that have to happen before that's a possibility. Um, so to manage expectations for myself and for my audience, um, there's just a few, there's three categories of milestones that we need to hit consecutively for me to justify doing this full time or even part time. Um, for the sake and well-being of my family, for my own mental health, for your guys's, you know, time and money sake. Um, it's important that we have realistic and, um, well, realistic and achievable goals. Um, and those milestones are set as follows. So the three categories are content. So what kind of content am I producing? The quality of content, the frequency of content the progress the numbers how many views a video is getting how many subscribers i get how many followers i'm receiving and money how much money am i making you encompassing all the different revenues of financial gain i can have out there right so if any one of those three things falls behind i cannot do this as a job right if i'm making money and I'm making good progress, but I'm not making content, then I'm not gonna reach new people and I'm not gonna really grow and it's gonna die. If I'm making content and I'm making money, but nobody's checking the channel out, then that means a very small percentage of people are doing a lot of the financial support and that's not a realistic thing. I'd rather, instead of one person donate $100, I'd rather 
a hundred people donate one dollar, you know, because that's more realistic and manageable for most people, right? Um, and obviously, if the content is good and the popularity is good, but I'm not making money, then the well-being of myself and my family is being being the cost. Um, so the the idea is that. If we can get all three of these things to grow at a decent rate together consistently, then I can devote more time and dedication into doing this part or full time, which would be awesome. Um, my girlfriend is pregnant, so we're kind of on like a nine month time schedule. So we've got those nine months, and then on that eighth and ninth month, and then the following month after, she's not going to be able to work. In which case, I would like to have some kind of income making enough money that either she doesn't have to worry about working, and when she's done and can go back to work, she can choose to do so if she wants. Um, so that's one reason why I'm trying to get into this and I've got these milestones. The second reason is because as much as I would love to do this full time, as much as I would love to dedicate time to being creative and having this as my creative outlet, at the end of the day, if it's not making money for my family, I gotta go do something else. So I'm not gonna stop doing Twitch and YouTube. It's just gonna be a hobby. It's not gonna be a, uh, you know, a job. It's not gonna be taking this this much time um, out of myself. And and quite frankly, to be honest, it's probably not gonna be as quality either. You have to forgive my snorting, man. I don't know what's up with my nostrils right now, but so what are the goals? Let's break this down step by step. There is a timeline to these three categories. So the categories again, content, progress, money, right? Those three things. I wish money wasn't, didn't have to be a part of it, but it is. Um, so uh, content, progress, money, and the timeline that these things are set up is going to be on the quarterly year. So we're already one third of the way through the first quarter. Um, the quarterly year, obviously, split up into three months uh, for each quarter. Um, God, I gotta sneeze now. It's like my body just doesn't want me to make this video. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, I know, super professional. Probably not a lot of editing other than ga the gameplay that you guys will be seeing, hopefully. Um, but, so yeah, three months in each quarter, so from... Um, the first month of the year all the way up till the end of May um, is the first quarter. And then, you know, so on and so forth. You guys can follow along here. So, here was here's the goals. So, for progress in the first quarter, um, just rounding off my numbers, right? I want to be, you know, at 200 followers on Twitch. We're currently at like 175 or something like that. Um, 100 on YouTube. We're currently at 81. Um, and I would like to get like 10 people, five or 10 people watching the stream at any given time when I go live on Sunday. Um, I go live on Sunday from 6 p.m. to midnight. Um, so I will be streaming when this video goes out, I will be streaming tonight. So if you guys would like to check that, go, go down and I pointed up. There actually, there's probably going to be something in the card here, but in the description as well, there will also be, um, a link down there you guys will be able to go through and get to. Um, but I would love to have like three to five people any given stream on my scheduled stream days to be in the chat talking or at least viewing and actively participating in the stream. That would be awesome. Um, my full length videos, I would love those to get um, at least like 10 to 15 views, you know. By the end of May, I would like those to be getting 10 to 15 views and um, every video consistently. And my shorts that I post uh, have fucking exploded. I posted one short. Within two hours, it had 1,700 views on it. And then the second short I posted had 700 views within 24 hours. So it was pretty gnarly. So I, don't, I really don't have a realistic expectation for those just yet. But... Um, hey, you know what? If we can uh, make it work, we'll make it work. Um, so, shorts-wise, I don't know. If I could get at least 60 views on a short, good enough for me. Good enough for me, good enough for you, good enough. Um, so, that's, that's pro uh, 
progress wise those are the kind of numbers that I'm expecting to see by the end of the first quarter of the year I kind of jumbled this up here but uh, content wise um, I'm just getting into the saddle I'm gonna be honest this first month has been pretty rough I've recorded a lot of stuff I've streamed quite a bit but I haven't gotten content out to you guys consistently and that's the goal for the first quarter is I want to be consistent so I want to have the, the goal is by May I will release at least one video a week with two shorts a week. I don't give a shit if it's literally just a Twitch VOD that I slap on the freaking screen. Something is going out there that people enjoy. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take highlights from my Twitch stream and I'm just using the Twitch highlight tool, you know, take out a 30 minute chunk, a 40 minute chunk cut that out it'll be one round of squad or a couple rounds of dark and darker or, or whatever it might be that I'm streaming or playing at the time and post that to YouTube and then I can edit it in YouTube I can put the cards I can put all the information in there on YouTube before I post it so so I'll upload it to YouTube and then I'll post it to the public um, that's the idea that I'm going with right now I have DaVinci Resolve I have OBS, I have Stream Elements OBS, and I have Krita for my uh, screenshots and thumbnails. If you guys don't know what any of that stuff is, don't worry, but if you do, and you have any advice and tips and tricks, or you would like to offer some help, maybe sit down with me and walk me through editing a video at one point, please, by all means, leave a comment down below, go join the Discord, DM me, I don't care, just just, just get a hold of me somehow, I'll leave my freaking phone number if you need. Um, but yeah, just if you have any tips, let me know. So that's the idea content-wise. I just want to get consistency out. I just want to start getting the wheels spinning. If I can get that spinning and I can see a little bit of that progress start, that is going to give me the fire that I need to move into the second quarter of the year. Now, <coughs> let's talk money. <coughs> I'm just kidding. Um... First thing I want to say about money, is, so you guys understand, is I only need as much as it, um, as much as, as much as it takes to support my family, um, ever. Like in my whole career of doing Twitch and YouTube, if this blows up. The only amount that I need is enough to pay the bills and keep my family fed. That is it. Um, so anything beyond that is a plus and is most likely either going to get dumped back into this or when we find a charity that me and the community uh, really feel for and can get behind, it's probably going to go towards that. Um, but that being said, like, that, that, unfortunately, I can't do this in the frequency with the effort and the quality that I want without making money. Um, it is a necessary part of the process. Um, the goal isn't to make money. My, the whole reason I'm putting content out here isn't to make money. The reason I'm doing this is because I love making content and I love creating communities and I love creating events that communities can come together and collectively enjoy. Um, I just need money to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I'm not interested in making as much money as possible. I'm interested in making the best quality content and experience for people as possible. The money's just as necessary part. That being said, what are my expectations in the first quarter, my first three months, bro? You gotta have some realistic expectations, and I, and I think I do. Um, my expectations for the first quarter of the year, these first three months, are not to... I, I don't need to hit these milestones it would be nice but they're not fully expected until i get the viewership and i get the people behind the um, product and the product is there the money will follow right but first and foremost uh -oh, discord ping um sorry girlfriend um once i can get the product and the people behind it um the money will follow but for the first quarter of the year, um, if I can quit my part-time job in the first or second quarter of the year, that'd be awesome. But right now, I just need a little bit of money to at least justify putting more effort into it into the second quarter, into the halfway point of the year. Um, so my my goal for the first month was 100 bucks. 
my first freaking stream two hours into the new year. Uh, a good buddy of mine, uh, his name is Mike. Um, he goes by Dink Gamer here on YouTube. He's also got a new channel called Dashing Dink. He does DoorDash uh, vlog stuff and some kind of like review stuff of different. Um, <clears throat> he called them um, gig apps. So yeah, highly recommend checking him out. He came into the stream and dropped a hundred bucks. Boom, blew the first month's goals out of the water. Now that's awesome. The fact that he did that is super generous. A hundred bucks is a lot of money. I would love to rather see like 10 people donating $10 or like five people donating, you know, 15, $20. Not, not one guy, because again, that's not a realistic expectation for consistent income. You know, uh, I can't expect, you know, as generous guy like Dink to come around every month and drop a hundred bucks. It's just not, you know, that'd be cool. And then and if, if people can afford to do that, awesome. If you believe in this content well enough, you believe in me well enough, your money, your choice. But <laughs> as somebody who struggles with money, I do not have that expectation on any person to do anything with their money involving my channel. Um, but if people find that they like it, good enough. So first month was 100 bucks. The second month, like 100 bucks kind of in the same area well the first month is probably more realistic to expect like 50 50 dollars maybe if somebody bought a shirt or something like that um by the way mason merch you guys can go check that out in the stream element store um and yeah so then you know in the third month if i can make like 250 bucks in that month you know and just see like slow growth there um 100 bucks first month 150 200 bucks second month third month 250 that'd be pretty cool if i could make 250 in the third month um that'd be awesome so yeah that is q1 q1's got some pretty straightforward clear-cut goals make content get a couple numbers get some consistency make a little bit of money pretty straightforward pretty pretty you know beelined um, the rest of the year, I am leaving room for goals later down the line. So I will probably make another video like this in three months describing what I expect to see in the next quarter of the year. Um, if by the end of the middle of the year, if by the end of Q2, I'm not reaching any of my goals or not consistently reaching goals, then I will probably dial it back on making videos. Q1 is going to be uh, kind of like the testing phase. We're going to see what things, how things go, how it plays out. Um, but if we don't really start seeing any results in the second quarter of the year, we're probably going to slow down and just do this as a hobby. We'll maybe come back to this in the future. But, you know, hey, I've got the freedom to do it now, so let's give it a swing. Um, so, yeah, um, in the second quarter, I would like to be making as much money as I'm making at my part-time job now. So I make $14 an hour, and I work 20 hours a week. I make like 600 bucks a month, maybe. That's like overestimated. Um, I don't work a lot, and I don't make a lot of money. So 600 bucks a month, five to 600 bucks a month, um, by the end of the second quarter of the year through the halfway point of 2024, um, I would love to quit my part-time job. If I'm making as much money doing this as I was doing that, I might as well put some time and effort into this because this has got a lot more potential for growth. Um, whereas that doesn't. You're just going to be sitting there making $14 an hour for as long as you're there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the hope. Um, Obviously, I want to be more consistent with videos. I'd like to see the videos obviously getting more views. Maybe like 100 views a video would be really cool. 500 views a video. Um, thousand video, a thousand views per video would be awesome. I'm talking about like the actual like 20 minute long videos that are fully edited and stuff. That's the other thing is I want fully edited videos. I want to be using DaVinci Resolve more. I want to be making good videos um, of decent length and I want them to be getting decent views. Uh, I don't, I don't have the expectation of making 
a million dollars a month, but, you know, something enough to quit working this part-time job and focus on this would be pretty cool. Q3, no expectation. I'm going to be honest. Um, I think, like, by Q3, if I can't post three videos a week and anywhere from two to six shorts a week and have at least one stream a week, um, Q3 is going to be, like, that's going to be the consistency phase. Can we do this every month? make consistent money, make consistent content, gain consistent views. Um, that's going to be, that's going to be what's going to determine, you know, um, the outcome of the channel entirely. Q4, uh, if Q3 has massive growth, if Q3 has massive growth and Q4 is just hallelujah stage, um, I would love for Aaron not to have to go back to work. She can obviously go back to work because she loves her job. But if she doesn't have to go back to work and she doesn't want to, I don't want her to, right? I would love for me to be able to do this, something creative every day, something fun every day, not just for me, but for you guys. I want you guys to have fun. I want you guys to, ex when you guys are here, I want you guys to have an experience that you guys enjoy, right? Um, I'd love to do host things on the Discord. I'd love to host events on my own gaming servers and stuff like that. I'd love to, I'd love to do that stuff because I love bringing communities together. I don't know what it is. I, growing up, you can ask my buddy. The nerd herd was a thing. The whole Discord is set up around exactly that. It's just you know something about it is it gives me a sense of self satisfaction and self quality. Um, to be able to bring people together to enjoy something collectively. For me, it's gaming, and I just want people to enjoy the gaming with me, whether it's D&D, &D, whether it's Squad, whether it's some other video game, whether it's some some role play or something. I, I don't care what it is. As long as people are having fun, I'd love to have people out. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the channel, and that's my goals. That is the straight-up but naked honest truth um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys think these goals are realistic please let me know down in the comments below if you guys are excited for this new year and you're excited for me please i need the hype give me some encouragement to keep making videos tell me down in the comments below join the discord join the streams come have some fun and as always this is mason 117 signing off one last time i'll see you at spawn Love you, bye. Fucking A, I recorded that like three times and that, that turned out way better. If I didn't have to sneeze and scratch my armpits like a damn monkey the whole time though.